G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. There are many types of breads out there and everyone has their own favourites. So join me today as we make a cob loaf. Okay, to start off with, into a cup with warm water, we're going to place in one packet or seven grams of dried yeast and then two tablespoons of caster sugar. Now just give it a good mix for about a minute or so until the sugar is completely dissolved. Okay, once it's dissolved we're going to let this sit here for about 10 minutes and in that time the yeast should start to make the water bubble just a little bit. Next into a bowl with a sieve on top we're going to place in our three cups of baker's flour. Now you should be able to find this in pretty much any baking section in any supermarket. Then just simply sieve it, sieve it through until it's all, all gone through the strainer. Okay, once it's sifted through, add, add in about a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so into the flour mixture, I'm going to add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm just going to put this down. Now, now if you don't have a mixer, don't worry. Just give it a good mix around with a wooden spoon. It'll do just fine. So we're going to put this on low. Let it start to spin around, and we're going to slowly pour in the yeast mixture. Okay, so we're going to let this go for about one or two minutes until it's completely completely combined. Okay, so once it's completely combined, we're going to put it straight into high for 10 minutes. Now again, if you don't have one of these, that's not an issue. All you have to do is just knead it for 10 minutes. And kneading is basically onto a chopping board, lightly dusted with flour, and you're just going to basically fold it, push it out. Fold it, push it out, fold it, push it out. You just do that for 10 minutes and it'll be just exactly the same as this. But if you have one of these, this is where we put it on high and let it go for 10 minutes. Okay, so once it's finished mixing or kneading, now I'll just grab some plastic wrap and just cover it up just like so. Just to keep any new air out, any excess air out. Okay, so we're going to leave this here for one hour, and in one hour it's going to double in size. Once it's, done, once it's done that, we can get on to the next step. Okay, now using the chopping board, just going to sprinkle some flour just on there, just spread it around. Okay, we're going to grab our dough, it's been going for an hour now. Now just, just punch it, this will get all the excess air out. And we're just going to knead it, just for a little bit. Just to mix it, mix it up, and get all the excess air out. Now I'm just going to smack that right in there and just going to just flat it out where we want it to about about 20 centimeters width. Okay, once you've got your shape, just grab a serrated knife and I'm just going to do a couple of small cuts in a crisscross motion just like this. Not too deep, just enough so you've got some square looking things there. Now with some cooking spray oil, give it a very, very light spray with oil. That's all. Then we're just going to cover it up, cover it up with some clean wrap. Just so it's completely covered like so. Now we're going to leave this here for another 30-40 minutes just till it rises and almost doubles in size. Okay, so as you can see it's doubled in size, so we're just going to take this plastic off. Which is why it's important to give it a quick oil so the plastic doesn't stick. Now with one egg that I've just beaten, just going to give it a very light glaze just on the just on the top there, and this will help it help it brown up a lot more. So just do this until it's completely covered. Next, just give it a light dusting just with some flour. You don't have to cover the whole thing; it's just just most of it. That'll do. Okay, so we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, now I've just taken this out of the oven and I'll tell you what, it's looking fantastic. It's still pretty hot. Hot, hot, hot. As you see, it's cooked perfectly. It's nice and hard on the outside and guaranteed it's soft on the inside. So that turned out fantastic. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. Be sure to show me some love by giving me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.